What is going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Today I've got some more r slash entitled parents for you. But before we get into this, take a look at this bar chart. Now this shows my viewership over the past few days. As you can see, way more of you are not subscribed than are subscribed. So if you aren't subscribed yet, hit that subscribe button. We're closing in on 200,000 subscribers and when we get there, I'll be giving away 10 $20 Amazon gift cards. So if you want to be in with a chance of winning, get subscribed. With that being said, let's get into the first story. I demand you pay for or steal the snacks for my child's birthday party. Background. At the local movie theater, you can host birthday parties for kids for free, provided you come see a movie, of course. You have to contact the theater to let us know what movie you'll be seeing and at what time. We then reserve the necessary amount of seats in the cafeteria so your party can take place after the movie. You have to provide the snacks yourself and you still need to pay for the drinks you order. But you can hand us over your snacks, usually cake or pancakes, so we can put them in the fridge behind the bar and get everything ready on your table. Cake put on plates, pancakes heated up, etc. by the time your movie is over. The story. So this happened a couple of years ago while I was still working in the local theatre. It was during the winter break, which is generally the busiest period of the year. I had the cafeteria shift along with somebody else. Before the first movies of the day played, we had two sets of parents hand over their snacks and we take their info. Whose party, what movie, how many people, so we could have everything ready on time. After the pre-movie rush, we start refilling the shelves to have everything restocked by break time. This is when the person who works the register comes down to help us restock and informs us about the three birthday parties after the first movies. I tell him, that's odd, we've only received the info for two parties. Luckily, he remembered how many tickets he sold them and for what movies so we can have at least their tables ready. They'll probably hand over their snacks during the break or get them out of their car after the movie. It happens from time to time. Boy, was he wrong. Break time comes and goes and still nothing about our mystery party snacks. We restock our shelves and get everything ready for the parties. The first two parties came to watch the same movie so we put them in the same part of the cafeteria as we can close this part off to prevent other people from getting to their snacks. The parties arrive, recognize their respective snacks, parents come to get some more drinks which we put on their tab and enjoy their kids' respective parties. By this time, the third party arrived at the cafeteria and we point them to their reserved tables. This is also when people for the next batch of movies start arriving and ordering drinks and snacks, so it started to get more busy. After taking their seats, the entitled mother, EM, walks up to the bar and orders 18 sodas. These are half litre bottles at 280 euros a piece. She hands me a 100 euro bill and I give her her change back. This is where the fun begins. Excuse me, but you seem to have made a mistake. Sorry, what seems to be the problem? You didn't give me all of my change? You ordered 18 sodas, that's 50 euros. You gave me 100, so I returned you 49. Shouldn't I get a discount? It's my child's birthday party. Look how many people we brought. Nope, sorry, mom. At this point, I turned to another customer as it was getting busy. She scoffed, went back to her table, and I thought that was the end of it, but it wasn't. 10 minutes later, and things had gotten really busy. The manager had sent someone extra to help out. While I was hopping from customer to customer, my colleague, who had only started working there that winter break, tapped my shoulder and said she had a customer who demanded to talk to the person in charge. As I was the person behind the bar who had worked there the longest and the manager was indisposed, that was me. I turned around and lo and behold, entitled mother was there glaring at me. What seems to be the problem? Why is it taking you so long? Excuse me? We've been waiting for over 15 minutes and you still haven't taken our order. What are you talking about? about our food you took their orders she points at the other parties when are you coming to take ours mom we don't take orders or provide anything for your party for that matter you're supposed to bring your own snacks what that's bull how are we supposed to know that did you really think that we would provide food for 18 people for free now if that's all i really need to get back to no this will not do i demand you provide us with suitable snacks at my child's party it's what we were promised I'm still trying to be polite at this point, but I'm dropping my customer service voice. What do you want me to do, lady? Abandon my shift to drive to the nearest supermarket and buy you some pancakes? 
Yes, that would be adequate. Yeah, I gesture to the busy cafeteria. I'm not gonna do that, lady. Fine, then take some of theirs. She points at the other parties. They obviously have enough, and my child deserves snacks on his party. It's what he was promised. One of the parents from these parties stood relatively nearby to order something. This is important for later. So now you want me to steal from our customers? I want you to provide me with the service I was promised. I'll tell you what I'm gonna do, lady. I'm gonna get back to work. I turn and left to help take someone else's order. She stomped off, going on about how she'd inform your manager and how I'll be sorry for this. 15 minutes later and the rush has subsided. The parents of the other parties had had most of their kids' guests already picked up and had waited until it was less busy to pay their tabs. While I was doing this, my manager showed up with the entitled mother in tow, looking at me with a poo-eating grin. Castle Fist, I've received a complaint from this woman that you refused to give them their snacks. Is this true? I explained how I couldn't give them their snacks as they hadn't even handed them over or brought them in the first place. Mom, is this true? Well, 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 yes, but you should be more clear in that we're supposed to bring them yourselves. Also, this man was incredibly rude to me. At this point, the father of one of the other parties from earlier jumped in. He told my manager of how EM made a bunch of outrageous demands, including ordering me to steal their food and was incredibly rude to both me and my colleague. He also told him how helpful I was with their party and how any perceived rudeness was just because I was hurrying to get back to my other customers. After this, the entitled mum just fell silent and my manager basically told her to get her head out of her butt and leave the theatre. She sunk back to her seat and told her party to get ready to leave. The parents of the other parties paid their tab and even gave us their leftover cake as thank you for our service. The father made sure to say it loud enough so the EM could hear it and winked at me. We ate that cake during our evening break, laughing about that entitled mum. It tasted extra sweet to me. Well, this mum got what she deserved. Nice going. I mean, that is super annoying because what this cinema is offering is actually really nice to kids that are having parties. As long as you pay for the movie, you can have your drinks and snacks dealt with for free and put out on a table. And yeah, it can be a nice event with no extra cost. But when you want the cinema to pay for your drinks and foods, yeah, that's one step too far. Moving on to our next story. Entitled parent tries to take my wheelchair for their entitled kid at Disney. Disney World thinking it was rented, but gets charged. Okay, for a bit of backstory, I have a disability to where I can walk, but not far without excruciating pain. I went to Disney with my family over the summer. It was very fun until halfway through our trip, enter entitled parent and entitled kid. So here's the story. My family and I were on vacation in Disney World for a week. We were having a wonderful time until Wednesday. We were at Animal Kingdom and in line for Carly River Rapids. Enter an entitled parent, her entitled kid, and a poor dad who had to deal with these morons. All of a sudden, this entitled mom started talking nonsense. Hi, can my son please borrow your wheelchair to sit in? I'm sorry, our daughter has to sit there. She can't walk well and it will hurt her to walk. It's not that far, she can walk it off. If she can, then so can your son. But this entitled parent ain't having it. Just give me the god dang wheelchair. My sisters and I couldn't believe the utter foolishness this lady had in her. This is a theme park for kids. Don't swear in front of children. I will report you to the wheelchair rental service. They will take yours away. Go ahead. This is our wheelchair. They can't take it. The entitled mum is very upset, but she doesn't speak for the duration of the wait and the ride. Now, we thought this might be the end of it, but no, it gets worse. This seems to be a common theme throughout these stories. My family decided to split up because my mum and I love roller coasters and I haven't ridden Expedition Everest in years. We get in line and it turns Turns out the entitled parent and her entitled kid were following us. The poor dad wasn't there, so I assumed he didn't want to ride the coaster. No, I wouldn't either if I had to ride with those guys. I'd say that the entitled kid was maybe six or seven, so I didn't know if it would be okay to let him ride because I would have been terrified to ride the ride at that age. Anyway, here's round two of this idiotic lady's rampage. Hi again, is it okay if we go ahead of you? My husband is waiting for us and we have a fast pass soon? I'm sorry, but from the way you treated us earlier, I could couldn't care less if you miss your first pass. I need to sit in the wheelchair, my legs hurt. Let us through now or give me the wheelchair. Look lady, I have to 
sit in this chair. He can't just sit in it with me in it. The entitled parent then pushes me out of the wheelchair and shoves her kid in it. She then tries to leave, but other guests don't allow her as they were watching this unfold. Just then, a security guard comes over and assesses the situation because he heard the commotion. What is going on here? These two people are trying to steal my wheelchair. Em, is this true? No, this woman stole our wheelchair that my daughter needs. Bystanders start telling the cop what happened. They're lying. I rented this wheelchair out for my son who is disabled. Now that was the sentence that caused her to ruin her vacation. Okay, I'll have to take this woman into custody until further notice. The entitled parent had thought she'd won. Wait, what? But I did nothing wrong. You just lied to an officer. This wheelchair doesn't belong to the park, so it must belong to them. Oh, she got caught out. Eventually, this security guard and his friends asked if he wanted to press charges. We said yes and charged her for assault. After that, my mum and I enjoyed the ride and told the rest of the family what happened. Now, they were dumbfounded, but we still laugh to this day. Ah, see, I love it when entitled parents get caught out. Oh my god, we rented this wheelchair. No, I think you'll find we actually bought it. Anyway, that's going to be the end of this one. I really hope you did enjoy it. If you did, remember to like and subscribe and click the video on screen for more Reddit content from me. With that being said, I will see you all tomorrow with another video.